Hey guys, Shukos are here. First of all, sorry guys that I didn't put an intro. And second of all, sorry guys that yesterday I actually didn't do a video. I'm really sorry. I ran out of ideas of what to do. So luckily, one of my subscribers actually gave me a question, and he asked, "How do I make an intro?" Hmm, that was pretty simple. If you guys wonder, my intro is currently the one that you used to do, you used to see. But I'm kind of going to change the intro. That's why I didn't put any intro today. But you may see the last of it, maybe the previous video, but do check out my intro. So today, uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make an intro. And you just need a MacBook, something like this one um, you're looking at. And you also need iMovie 9.0.9. .9. I heard, I know maybe some of you guys have iMovie 9.0. I mean, some of you guys have iMovie 11. But personally, I think iMovie 9 is more like self-explanatory so I'm gonna teach you guys how to use it so when you have iMovie 9.0.9 .9, you get something like this and I know guys if you're new to a MacBook you might not have anything so if you want to get an intro like mine like the normal intro about the like how can I say like the previous videos do check out my video okay so Click the plus button here to add a new project. So that's basically like your main key button which you have to press to get a new project, which I think is kind of cool. So just press the plus button and then you get a lot of this. Now you just press no team and press click, click create. Now, when you do the video, I just realized something. So now the next thing you have to do is press this T button which gives you text which allows you to like see this drifting there is sideway there's echo probably something I don't know what this do just put your mouse over what you think is the best so you can see the text goes here and then it's it's really great so and there's a lot of like things you could see so personally I use the side widget thing so how to do this so this one has one text so you just have to drag it here and then select whatever like um kind of background you want I'll choose the star one so text here I'll put here shuruk all star and the best part is Hey, where's that button? Come on. So you just press the the space button. So let me just do it again. So you really want to think tool because do you want another lens flare? Or do you want just like centered? Nothing happens. So I, I believe centered will be nice. So I just put this one. So you can really customize your like your little theme here so you put here like comment and subscribe so you can see the huge button and i forgot i didn't see this one show font click it <coughs> have different colors kind of something like that i don't know I, I personally i didn't change that then just oops, just put this one and yeah so it's a pretty much nicer one let me just click this one again this one doesn't have Hmm, it's kind of weird, but I think I'll delete this one first. Delete selection. <clears throat> so we'll have this one. So for example, you're like this, and you want to put something in front. So what you want to do is drag your thing again and put in front. This. Wow, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Go back to iMovie. Come on. Now, ah, delete this. What happened? Come on, guys. Let me just force good eye movie. I'm so sorry guys. This is I'm not expecting this to happen man. Force quit. Yeah. Force quit. There you go. So let's just go back into iMovie. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> I just miss misclick or something. But please do understand me. Okay. So okay, that's a very good case. For example, you go out and you wanna find your the project you did, you just have to find it somewhere in this project area. You can see these stars. It's the one I create. So I just press the start and the like, comment, subscribe. 
press T and then choose again I'll choose first the lens flare yeah careful this time or you could just drag it here oops sorry guys what's happening to me uh, I made this go back go stars stars hmm oh yeah now I know so for some like mm, for some like how can I say for some reaction something like this usually sometimes nothing would happen to view videos select one or more events hmm okay never mind so so the next part of this video is to add song so you can see this is the normal one <coughs> sorry and then come back again like comment and subscribe so now this you want to make songs you just press the song button and you can't choose iTunes songs because that's copyright so you want to go to this I sound effect and just add a song personally I think an 8 second song would be nice or just stick your title to 8 seconds or you can just pick the 9 second one I'm not sure if you guys can hear that not too sure though. Hmm. Uh, alright, that's weird. So if you guys can hear it, then sorry. So you just have to find something that's eight seconds long. Maybe this one. I don't know if you guys can hear, but please do hear it. So just drag your song and put it at the start. So just something like this. Bam, and it's eight seconds long. So this is what will pop out. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And then you just like, can drag a clip from the bottom if you want. And yeah, so it's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you smack that like button, and please do subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you really find this video helpful. And do comment more videos that you wish to see in the upcoming days. And do tell me what kind of video or special would you want to see in Christmas. So I could give you guys something you actually like, you know, like I like the most. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.